I'm still a Premiere Pro user. And there is one thing that sort of annoys me about Premiere Pro. Uh, I know other software like DaVinci Resolve does this very well, but if you want to stick around with Premiere Pro and the integration with other Adobe products, this is probably a plugin that you need to have in Premiere Pro. Welcome back to another video. I hope you're doing well. Today it will be a short one. I just want to quickly talk about one of my favorite plugins in Premiere Pro that I've been using the past couple of years. Before I continue though, I do want to say that this is completely not sponsored. My fingers gets cracked. I'm not sure if you heard that, but before we continue, just want to let you know that this video is not sponsored. This is something that I purchased myself out of my own money and it's something that I use in my own workflow. So if you want to add a keyframe and scale in into parts of your video, let's say if you're doing a tutorial or you want to just have a quick zoom in, although this is very easy, it can be a little bit of a tedious process. So traditionally you would just go into your clip, go into the effects controls and then select scale move it forward and just zoom in a tiny bit so you can get that zoom effect. And if you wanted to add motion blur to that, you have to do this actually using a transform effect. So you go to transform, select the transform effect, add it into your clip and making sure that you deselect the use composition shutter angle and then just insert a shutter angle of about 180. I have made a video about the wrong way of using the transform effect that addresses this sort of thing in another video. So if you haven't checked that out and you wanna find out more in depth information about that, check out the video in the description below or in the link up here. And along with that, there is also a free preset that I have included that you can use for yourself if you do not want to use this plugin that I want to talk about. Again, the link to that free preset is in the description below. So enter Drag Zoom Pro. So this is a plugin for Premiere Pro and it is not cheap by any means. It's right now at the time of the making of this video, it's $49.90, but this is a lifetime license. You can use it forever as long as you live or as long as Premiere Pro lasts, I guess. And the cool thing about this is that the person who created this, they keep allowing updates. So if you change to a future version of Premiere Pro, he usually releases an update and you're able to download that for free because you already have the license and you have purchased it before. So once you have downloaded this from this website, from aescripts.com, you will enable this in Premiere Pro under Window, Extensions, and you can select Draxoon Pro. Once you're here, this is what this looks like. Essentially what this plugin does is that it automatically does all the behind the scenes work for you of adding that transform effect, that motion blur, without having to go through all those tedious steps. So let's try it out on this clip. So let's say I have this clip right here and I want to have a, let me reset it first. Okay, so I have this clip and let's say at this point, I want to have like a quick zoom in in this talking head video. You select refresh, so this sets the playhead where you want to perform the zoom. So it's important to know that where you put your playhead, that's it, that is where the zoom is going to end, not where it will start, if that makes any sense. Keep watching and that will make sense in a bit. But before we continue though, if you are new here to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, it will be greatly appreciated if you subscribe. That would be greatly beneficial to me for me to provide future videos for you in the realm of filmmaking, photography, and gear review. And if you're subscribed and you came back, thank you again so much for being here. And okay, so let's get back to here. We'll hit refresh and you can also select the transition duration, how long you want that zoom to last. And think of that as the amount of frames that that duration or that zoom is going to last. So right now it's about 0 0.2 seconds. So what I can do now here is make a square for that zoom. So I'll make a square around here and you can hold space bar to move that square around. There are some instructions here as well that help you. So I'll leave that and I'll let go of my mouse. And right away, this is done. You get that quick zoom in. Let's take a look. There you go. And let's say we wanted to zoom back out. What I'll do now is, okay. And then at this point, I'll zoom back out. Um, I'll select refresh again. At this point, since I want, this is the point in the playhead that I want that zoom out to be completed or to be ending at. 
And right from here, I can just tap this button, zoom out to 100%. They're vacuuming outside. I'm not sure you can hear that, but... Apologies for that in advance. You can either zoom out to 100% or select another box to zoom out to or to zoom into. So I'm just gonna escape here because I'm not gonna do that. I'll click zoom out to 100% and it's done. So let's play the entire thing. Zooms in, zooms back out. Let's extend that. Zooms back out. So, okay, I'll probably have to wait for the vacuuming to be done. Okay, another cool thing too is that, let's extend this video clip a little bit more, is that you have recent zoom ins or different uh, scale keyframes that were created that you just created recently. All you have to do if you wanna repeat something later on in the video, is just go back to one of these and it says here scale 139%. You just tap on that and it scales back in just like that. And let's here, around here, I'll just tap scale 100%. So these are sort of like actions that have been selected. And if you wanna undo anything, you can just make sure the clip is selected and click undo. You can also start any of these transitions or these zoom ins so that you can favorite them so that they can show up here in your favorites folder. So let's favorite this one. I'll just name it as, let's see, slight zoom in, save. So now it's already in my favorite, slight zoom in. So I'll drag in another clip to test this out. So let's say here, I'll refresh that to the playhead and go to my favorites, slight zoom in, select that, and it's done. There you go. If you go to settings, you're able to access a bunch of other different settings. So you can snap zoom to the nearest 1% or whatever amount you want. You can also select that shutter angle. So if you do not want any motion blur at all, which doesn't look as good in my opinion, you can select this to go to zero degrees. And if you want a lot of motion blur, you can go to 360 degrees. You can also have snap to grid lines enabled, transition interpolation. If you want smooth keyframes, smooth keyframes for that transition, you can just select Bezier, leave it at that. Um, you can add markers as well and set your maximum scale. Okay, so next I'll, I'll illustrate how this is beneficial for you when you record tutorials and show your screen. So let's say I have this screen right here and I wanna zoom in to where my mouse is. So at this point in time, I'll go to Drag Zoom Pro, refresh it so that it can go to where the playhead is. And at this location, what I'm going to do is zoom in to this top part. Oh, escape, not that part to this part. So it has been selected. So I zoom into this part and let's say I wanna zoom into now to this part where I type in the scale number. So refresh over here and I'll zoom in right there. And now let's see what this looks like. So it zooms in and again. And now that I'm done, I will refresh that and maybe zoom out to maybe this one, one of the recent ones. Cool, so very simple plugin, but so, so useful. Let me know what you think about this plugin or if you have used it before, or are there any other plugins that you like to use in Premiere Pro that are super useful. I would love to check them out as well. So let me know in the comments below. And this is it for today's video. Have a blessed day. And here are a couple more videos that you could probably watch next and I'll see you there.